Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a timeless coffee cup reading for your overall energies. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull some cards to get more clarity to a question in your mind. This reading is intended for sun, moon, and rising signs. So if you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. I will be also leaving a link up here and in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can just go ahead and book your reading from there, okay? And I also want to thank every single one of you for being here, liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. It is a great help and I truly appreciate it. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. All right, guys, let's jump into your reading. Let's see what is coming your way. There's a tears of joy here, and it seems like maybe within three weeks or so, it's going to be showing up. You can see it is going to be something that is actually going to affect all around, not only one area of your life. It's going to be effective in most of the areas. I see here a Scorpio. You are a Scorpio and um, can be because you have a person in front of you. Maybe there's a negotiation situation here. There's a helmet or we can take it as an umbrella above your heads. Umbrella can be symbolizing that maybe um, this person's trying to, even the helmet, give you a protection or a cover. Like something maybe... Uh, this also seems like there's a person here wearing this helmet. Uh, it can be someone in a very negative situation. Maybe they're in need of help, uh, like this other person. And this person here with the helmet is trying to get them a cover. But you're being left out, as you can see, the Scorpio. So you might have to cal cultivate that Scorpio skills that you have. Probably the first thing I know about Scorpios is that they're highly intuitive. And uh, their gut feeling is very strong. And you're probably being guided to a um, new circumstance, maybe a new situation. So this can be symbolizing that. And now I look at it this way. I see kind of like a Snoopy, kind of like a dog here. So that symbolizes, even though in this situation that maybe you're being left out in the cold, somebody's going to be showing up to support you, someone loyal to you, and they're going to be actually bringing the protection for you. Or maybe even uh, something is happening, negative is happening at your workspace. Maybe there's people um, actually starting to hold side and maybe you're feeling all left out. Seems like here, don't worry, because this is actually a bright environment here. So uh, this will teach you one lesson. And also at the same time, it will show you who is loyal to you. You're going to get the chance to have, see and experience the loyalty. And whoever is loyal to you, it's going to be revealed. Okay. There's a path opening here. It has sometimes not happening right away. I see many faces here. There's a cow, can be symbolizing a Taurus, a female Taurus. There is a monkey here, can be symbolizing someone very well articulate with their words. And also there's a horse here. This horse means wish fulfillment. So probably this traveling this path is going to be wish fulfillment for you. And also these people that you're meeting coming together are um, going to be like the person with very articulate their words and the Taurus energy, which is indicative of resourcefulness. This resourceful person with someone who is maybe like a team of people, like maybe a financer. If you have a good idea that you want to launch, um, the p person with the speaking skills can be the sales character and the other one can be the financer and the horse is your wish fulfillment maybe even symbolizing your energy right there that you jumping into this thing with like this fast attitude and getting things done before that though i see here there's a conversation happening with a male two male figures i see this is like a feminine body it can be feminine as well and there's a third person here, kind of reminds me of Three of Pentacles because this person has like a tablet, like an iPad or something in their hand, maybe assessing some, some things, going through information. 
or even maybe showing you some information that they are figuring out and finding okay uh, what does this do to you? What is your gain from that? This can be something hidden from you actually being revealed. You're accessing to that information through this other person showing up, okay? I see here also another chariot leaving the town. Somebody's trying to block you, but you're pushing them away. This can be a relationship coming to an end. Maybe also um, a situation that is being hidden from you is going to be revealed which will give you this um, um, fire, this energy to walk away from that. This like chariot actually has this understanding. Uh, they are done with the place that they're in and they learn whatever the lesson that they need to learn and they're running away with the good and the bad, the white horse and the black horse, whatever they, they learn from the experience, they're just leaving the town and going, moving on to a new thing. So this can be a place that you're working at. I'm not suggesting that you're going to be like quitting your job and leaving. I'm just saying that you're learning whatever the best thing that you can get out of this space and probably maybe starting to look for other options can be also a relationship maybe doesn't serve your highest good anymore and you're going to start to you know assess the good and bad maybe just you know get something get help or maybe you know get out this can also be symbolizing that but it seems like um, these are the examples that i'm giving but it doesn't have to be about relationship or work this can be something in the family environment maybe there is a sibling that you have that you don't get along but you're going to start to see the good sides of what they're doing also at the same time like this doesn't only apply to the negative i see here there's a crowd that you're going to be entering in i see a beautiful heart shape here kind of looks like the symbol of aries heart shape can symbolize aries maybe someone with a fire energy you're going to come together also the crowd can be symbolizing light like-minded people an environment that you're going to feel like you belong okay I see there's a person here, kind of reminds me like a shaman with like the massive hat. Um, we can take it as a leader. You don't have to just stick with the idea of shaman. Can be someone who has like spiritual knowledge and, um, and because they have this illuminated light energy. So this can be also an experience that you're going to be stepping in. Maybe if there is a crowd that they are following the guidance of a certain person and you're going to be going after but doesn't have to be also guidance as well it can be also help like when i said shaman just shaman durek i don't know if you know him popped into my head he's actually a writer as well and he has like um and different understanding of the spirits and the spiritual things and this can also be that kind of a thing you don't have to be following someone um literally it can be a, like a virtual learning as well okay i see there's a legal paper showing here and there are two of them actually there's a distance in between some and there's a new plant seed something that you're planting here these two legal papers can be symbolizing two different contracts that you're going to go through and look through if you're planning to move maybe like finding a job and then finding a home can be indicating that or can be two different opportunities showing up for you and because it's being split up by this barrier here they're not going to have connections to each other basically they're going to be two different things it seems like here yeah in your heart i see there are like um actually also people coming forward uh, the people because it's in your heart space i feel like these are the people that you want to have uh, maybe people you know but i feel like um can also be symbolizing an environment that you're going to be stepping in that um, will help you meet with like-minded characters, okay? And we have it the second time here. Let's get into your saucer now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be for that. There's a massive whale surrounding your heart here and it kind of has like a man's face you can see ahead um this can be symbolizing an investor if you're going after a business this can be symbolizing someone um who's a good guidance who's wealthy and maybe someone who already uh, made it happen in the area that you want to make it happen and your desire coming slowly but surely another thing coming into my mind is it doesn't have to be always like you getting help from this person financial help can be getting good advice and this advice probably going to be putting you in a space 
of um, wealth when you follow it and uh, right now you don't really have clarity it's kind of like it seems like a little bit dark here but eventually like when you start to see the results of like your desire whatever it is connected to that um when you start to see like collect the fruits of your hard work basically you're going to come to realize that was a great help okay and it just disappears into the ocean back again so this person is not going to be someone um, that is probably asking anything in return from you okay they're going to be probably the exchange will be in the level of like you getting from them some things informations and learning from them and teaching it to others okay it's not going to be like you going uh, learning and giving back let's see what your cards are showing us to stay i'm using this wild unknown tarot from kim Krenz. let's see we have the seven of swords and we have a fox here fox usually symbolizes the shadow work there are some things hidden in the dark and also seven of swords can symbolize the card of tactics maybe you developing some new uh perspective and new strategy in order to attack the things in your hand okay we have the seven of wands seven of wands kind of symbolizes being defensive in a situation so two sevens coming back to back those seven indicates knowledge strategy and wisdom so you're going to be developing a different strategy basically that is approving that and the seven of wands says like you gonna you might be a little bit defensive because of your circumstances or the people that you're dealing with but it is good to have have self reflections and uh, be analytical about the situation so you can get um, you know better answers we have four of pentacles here four of pentacles symbolizes that okay while you're being defensive you're probably spending so much energy okay and that is actually taking a lot from you and you're going to the extremes when you are maybe closing yourself to a box maybe you're just limiting yourself this symbolizes that you are um you know spending a lot of energy by actually keeping yourself in there so four of pentacles indicates do not overspend your money time or energy into the things that are draining for you like if you're feeling tired maybe because uh, like you're isolating yourself too much uh, we have the ace of um, pentacles here ace of pentacles actually indicates a new financial adventure that you're going to be stepping into maybe a new school buying a house a car something or even maybe a land a long-term stability establishing a business for yourself even can be forming like a partnership that will be very beneficial for you in the long run okay if you keep your energy and move in with like a uh, very cautious steps it seems like it is going to get you the opportunity to start a new financial future we have the commitment card coming for you for the events and we saw two different contracts in your cup and this is actually this says contract here so this aligns with the ace of pentacles this indicates that when you keep your energy to yourself the information will come through and with that information you can actually start a new commitment and new um, thing for you that will bring financial stability into your life in the long run okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye